Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another tutorial video today and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can recover your RBC mobile account. So if you have an account on RBC and have connected it to online banking services because their online banking service is extremely top-notch and helps you to stay connected with your financial transactions, helps you transfer funds, make payments, and everything is right at the tip of your fingers. And if you have already created an account here and were using it for a certain while, but now seem to have forgotten the password to it and are wondering how you can recover the account, this is what you need to do. Stick with me till the end of this video to discover how you can recover your account. But before that, make sure that you've already subscribed to How to Geek. Also, hit that bell notification for us so that you get notified each time that we upload a new tutorial video. So now, without much ado, let's get right into the video. First of all, open up the app. And as soon as you open up the app, you will land on an interface like this that will ask you to sign in. So tap on the sign in button. As you tap on the sign in button, you'll be asked what kind of service are you trying to sign into, your client username, also your password. But then since you don't remember your password, you'll have to tap on trouble signing in option at the very end. And then what you can do is you can tap on the forgot password option. After tapping on the forgot password option, you will now be directed towards the reset password page where you'll have to put in certain kind of credentials and use different forms of information in order to be able to retrieve your account. So this is basically how you can recover your account. That is by changing your password into something new with the help of certain information that you'd already previously given to RBC and then using the new password and your already existing username or client card ID in order to log into your account. And when you're logged into your account, it means that your account recovery will have been successful. So this is basically how it works. Make sure that you enter correct credentials and give in correct information. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share, subscribe to How to Geek. And if we have been of help to you, do also let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around next time.